Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of respect for Coach David Rana, first and foremost. He's been a great coach for us here for um, four, 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 what, three football seasons here now, and, and it's been awesome to watch him instill a strong Badger defensive tradition. And that's what the most thing I've taken from Coach Randa is his passion for the game, um, but also being a smart defender, understanding your responsibility, knowing where you need to be. And, um, you know, I have a lot to thank for Coach, Coach Randa for him, what he's done for me. Uh, developing me as a player, putting position coaches in my life who's, um, who's helped you know, make me a better player and better person. So um, I'm very thankful to have him as my coach, but I'm also looking forward to the opportunity to play in him September 3rd. It's going to be a great game for, the, for us, for the fans, and, uh, but most importantly, we're looking forward to uh, preparing and, and bringing home a victory on September 3rd. Yeah, so it was it was after the bowl game, and that's kind of when you know Dave was getting you know in a lot of contact with other schools and deciding what to do. Uh, you know, Dave called me up on my phone call. I remember sitting up in my hometown, of Wisconsin Rapids, and and Dave called me up on my phone. I looked at, it, I was like, you know, this isn't gonna be a good phone call. And, and Dave doesn't call, you know, not for anything. He probably in my three years when I played underneath him, he probably called me twice. You know, taxi and stuff like that, but uh, when he called me, I knew that was going to be a phone call that uh, uh, wasn't going to be a good one. But, you know, I can't I can't fault Dave Rand for what he did. He's got to do what's best for himself, his career, his family. So um, it's just going to be kind of a fun. A lot of storylines in the first game, but that doesn't change the way we conduct our business uh, here in Madison. I think it's for the media, it's, it's a lot of storylines. It's I mean, you guys got to have a lot to chew on, but... Speaking for me as, as, a, as a defensive standpoint, I, it doesn't change the way I conduct my business. It doesn't change the way I prepare, how I how I view the game. So you know, I'm playing the offense, not 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 necessarily Dave. So uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting game. But I wish uh, him his defense the best of luck. Uh, but we're focused here in Wisconsin. What we gotta do, and whether that's against Dave Miranda or not, you know. Politically, I would say I would say no. You know, the politically correct statement, I would say no. You know, we we want to come out and conduct our business. And but at the end of the day, you know, Dave was our defensive coordinator. He was he was a guy we were with every single day. A guy we were with like 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, and we were with him a long for a long time. So, I mean, I, I want to go out there and have the best game for you know for myself. But obviously, having Dave across out across the sideline, having him watching. Uh, it definitely puts a little more fire in your step. Um, and, and he knows that, we know that, but at the end of the day, I still got to go out and execute. You know, I, I think that was the biggest question I was asked at the Big Ten Media Days was our, our strength of schedule. You know, the Michigan, the Michigan State, Ohio State, you know, Iowa, Nebraska, Northwestern. I mean, you know, the Big Ten schedule, that's about as tough as it gets. Um, but when I committed at the University of Wisconsin, that's the type of schedule I had in mind to play at those big venues, to play in those big time games. So. We gotta, as Wisconsin Badgers, we gotta position ourselves to be to be ready to roll. Position ourselves to be ready for those games, and um, you know that's what I'm excited about. I'm excited for those games. There's a lot of opportunities on the schedule to represent Wisconsin, to put us on the map, and and to represent the University of the State of Wisconsin uh, the best way we can. You know, TJ is a great player, and, and you know if he's out, that's definitely a loss for us. Um, no, but thankfully we have two guys that we have a lot of confidence in with Chris Soar and Jack Sitchie. So, you know, if there's a position that would go down, it's thankfully the spot that we have some depth at. And, you know, we also have guys like you know, Ryan Conley and uh, Nick Thomas who are in the stable. And if the, if the call, if they need needs be, can step up and, and I know like, execute at a high level as well. So, you know, TJ Edwards is a big loss for us, but, you know, thankfully we have guys, not just on inside linebackers, but our whole, you know, collectively as a defensive unit uh, to, to be in position to make up for it. 2014, we lost a tough one against LSU down in the Houston Texans Stadium. I mean, I, I know I still recall the game very well, but, you know, that was two years ago, a lot of different personnel, a lot of different players. So the, the, from the standpoint of the, the game scheme and how the game will be, it's going to be a lot different, but... You know, that doesn't change the way how I do my business. Um, I, I watched the game already twice from uh, 2014, but it won't change the way I, I do my business. I know we lost a tight one, but um, we're still going to go out there and conduct ourselves the way we need to be.